Hey Collective and welcome back to my channel, Empress Intuition 1111. I hope you guys are all doing well and having a fabulous day. We are going to be doing a 1010 portal energy reading to see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is pull one card from each Moonology deck and then we're going to go ahead and clarify each message for the Collective and see what the Collective needs to know regarding the 1010 portal. I'm picking up on a lot of good energy for y'all. I feel like you guys have definitely ended some stuff and started some new stuff. Y'all could have been in it some stuff for some of y'all. You could just be starting new stuff. Like you could have ended something, started something new, then ended that too. You know what I'm saying? I'm picking up on that as well. What is the energy for the collective for the first deck? I just need one card for each deck and then we're gonna clarify them. Okay, well, they gave me two, so I'm going to have to do what they say. Got to be obedient. I do call upon all my ancestors and my most high, my, my you know, God, everybody like that. I know I'm protected, so I'm not really tripping. You see how I just jumped right into the energy? But yes, the most high, I've already cleansed my energy, but I will say it for y'all. You know, protect the collective's messages while I channel them. Thank you very much. I just seen 111, period. Okay, so we're going to just do it like that however many cards they give us that's just how we're going to do it i want to make this video like 10 minutes and 10 seconds i don't want to make it too long but i feel like i'm gonna be talking longer than that no this card came underneath this card so it looks like spirit is giving me two cards for each deck which is fine that's fine we could just go ahead and do that and we're gonna do it like this i just seen 143 on the timer okay this one I said something about releasing negativity. Let's just get let's just do that. Two. We don't want to have too many. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Okay, so right now, what is going on for you guys? For the first section, I feel like you guys are doing a lot of self-regulation at this time. You're regulating the way you move. You're very excited. This is the excited move. You have this moon energy that your enlightenment or about something, 919, you got the rainbow, you're very happy at this time, 223 on the timer, and 222. Two, two. So whatever you're doing, you have a lot of self-regulation, a lot of self-control at this time. You can control your urges or emotions as well, okay? But underneath it, it looks like you're manifesting with the moon, the moon mastery. You're gonna do something with the law of attraction. So this could be something to make you evolve higher or you're gonna read the book of the law of attraction and see how to manifest with the law of attraction. That's actually really cool because the book helps you know what you need to do to be in the right frequency with the element, okay? And this is full moon in Aquarius, be real. So you might be lying about some things or hiding some things from yourself or others, which is fine, it's your business. But at this time, they want you to let go of whatever you're holding on to within yourself. And yes, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So you need to be real with yourself, be authentic. And when you're letting go of something, make sure you know why you're letting go of it. What was the reason for you to let go of it? And why did it, how did it affect you from the start? 323 on the timer. With the last quarter moon in Leo, Leo, Aries, Sag, lighten up. So I feel like you're going to be real with yourself because you're being a little hard on yourself, 333. But at the end of the cycle, at the end of this, you're going to like feel better. You're going to be more happier as well. You're going to lighten up. So something's going to make you feel lighter. You're not going to feel like you're weighing down. See how the moon looks like it's kind of weighing down on you? Like something's kind of heavy, you know, Aquarius? Something could be a burden at this time, okay? Or kind of stressing you out. It could be job related. You know, it could just be your feelings that you have with things that's going on like in your personal life. Or just the shit that's happening in the world, okay? I just seen 404. Yeah, okay, so whoever picked this deck is very close to achieving their goals. The Gilbert's Moon. So whatever you're doing, you're very close to achieving something. 616 on the timer. And underneath it, it says you, you're being committed to being tested. Your commitment is being tested. So they're, com they're okay. So spirit, whatever you're working on, spirit is testing you to keep going. Oh, let me see. They're going to keep going. They're going to start something and quit. So a lot of you guys could be starting things but not finishing things. And right now, spirit is going to make you finish it. Spirit is testing you right now to see if you're going to finish a certain goal or reach a certain outcome for yourself. Because it says, it's crazy because it says you're very close to achieving a goal, right? 650 on the timer. But underneath that, it says your commitment to being, 
I mean, I'm sorry, your commitment to achieving your goal is being tested. You know what I'm saying? So they're testing you to see if you're going to do it, if you're going to stick to what you're saying. Okay, so that's very significant for somebody. So you're being real with yourself right now. Let's go back to this one. You're being real with yourself. You're going to be more authentic. You're going to let go of things that no longer serve you within yourself or people with certain addictions, whatever this could be. You're going to lighten up with yourself, Aquarius. And you could be dating a fire sign or you could be letting go of a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sag. And you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, letting go of a Leo, Aries, Sag. You see the fire, okay? So 532 on a timer. So you could be lightening up on a situation like, you know what? I'm going to let it go. You know, things happen. It's life, you know? You got to keep moving. You got to keep it moving forward, period. Can't let nothing slow you down. Okay, so now we're going to look at the bottom. So right now it says the moon's reflection. Yeah, you're accepting some kind of responsibility, and then you have self-regulation at the top of the deck, which came out for you is you're excited about something and you're very responsible at this time. And you're accepting your responsibility because you know being successful is a challenge and it doesn't come overnight. And you can look like this, period. You're very tuned in with the world right now. Okay. You have control of your emotions. You see how she's balanced or she's mirroring herself or she's mirroring her reflection. And you're focused on the law of attraction while you're doing your reflecting. Okay, 623 on the timer. And up here we have forgive. The full moon in Pisces. Yeah, you might need to forgive a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer and lighten up on the situation. Don't be so hard on this person. Whatever might have happened, but you need to forgive them and move on because it's the past. And spirit does not want you to hold on to that. And whoever's achieving their whoever's close to achieving their goal, you're being tested for commitment. A personal issue will reach a solution. You're a full moon in Cancer, 650 on the timer. Okay. So there's going to be some kind of revolution for you coming in. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. That is a commercial. I'm not going to stop that. We're at 710 on the timer. So let's go ahead and ask some questions and see what's going on with the self that Self-regulation and excited moon. What is the energy for the self-regulation and excited moon? Who's excited? What is the questions they might have about their new, you know, their new, your new journey that you're going to take on, your, whatever you're about to embark in, 727 on the timer. What is a few questions? What is the collective needs to know? What do they need, what do they need answered? This is going to answer your question for you. Okay. So it says, what qualities will my future partner have? So, yeah, you're focusing on self-regulations. You're excited because you feel like something new is coming in for you, but you want to know what they're going to look like, what kind of job they're going to have, what they're going to do. Okay, let's clarify the law of attraction. What's the other question? For the, what is the law of attraction, moon ma mastery? Thank you. Yeah, and what area should you surrender and allow flow to happen? So you need to know what you need to surrender in. And I feel like it's in money and you've done that. You're learning how to save money or work with money better, okay? 811 on the timer. How best can I nurture, nurture and support my spiritual well? Yeah, you're accepting responsibility. You want to know how what's the best way to go to nourish yourself, okay? And you're very protected too with protection by a higher power. You could be doing a lot of cleansing too. I just seen that like kind of fall out. So that's just, this is really beautiful. You're focused on your spiritual health and your well-being. Yeah, okay. What are my higher true feelings for myself? Yeah, you need to be real with yourself for Aquarius. What are your higher true feelings for yourself? That will go there. Okay. What is the Leo energy, the full moon quarter? Yeah, what is today's energy? You need to lighten up and just let the day flow. Don't be so hard on whoever's around you. You could be a boss at work. You could have like a higher position where you kind of tell people what to do. 902, okay. What is very close to achieving your goals? Ooh, there's a lot that came out. We ain't going to take that. We're going to do that again. 911 on the timer. You got a lot to do. You're being, spirit is committing you to a lot right now, okay. It could be like five things or more. How best can I gain gratitude and appreciation? Yeah, by keep moving forward. Don't let the haters stop you. Nobody can stop your destiny. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. And your commitment is being tested how? How is the commitment being tested? Spirit for the collective, thank you. What are the benefits of? Okay, so what is the benefits of whatever you're working on? You want to know. You, want, you feel like, is it worth being committed to? Yes, it is. So go ahead and ask yourself, what is the benefits? And write them down. If the good outweighs the bad, stick to it, okay? What can you, when can, 
What can I do to support my healing? Yeah, forgive. You need to forgive people and move on. Forgive them, then for, forgive yourself. Because when you forgive yourself and forgive them, it's better. What's the personal solution? What's the person? I just seen 10, 10. Ooh. The personal solution reaches the issue. What are your dreams trying to tell you? You could be having some kind of dreams at this time. Your dreams are trying to tell you something or warn you about a situation. Or God is trying to show you that something's going to pass over for you in all due time, okay? What opportunities are you getting ready to emerge in? You're going to get ready to emerge into a lot of opportunities as well. We're going to pull a few chakra cards, okay? This is looking good, collective. Like I said, today is the 10, 10 portal. Like I said, for the first set, you got money. So the law of attraction, you're focused on your moon mastery. You're mastering something with the moon at this time. You could be putting moon water out in the, in the moon, in the full moon, the new moon, and seeing what it do. Yeah, you got your third eye open right now. You're paying close attention to things. Intuition. Okay. So that looks very beautiful, very good for the first set. Whoever picked this first set, this will be a pick a card. So if you pick the first set, you're working on your manifestations, law of attraction. You're nourishing your spiritual well-being, your money. You're focused on your growth. Okay, let's get one for each deck, please. I just seen 1115 on the timer. Okay. Yeah, divine consciousness. Forgive. Once you lighten up, forgive and be real, your divine consciousness is at play. Okay, you need to be in, in correction expansion with one, with yourself. Don't worry about what everybody else got going on. Don't be so hard on other people and also yourself. But you have a lot of, the first person has a lot of financial power, generosity, and abundance. That's what I wanted to tell you as well. In the 14th, or you could be 49. The 14th was something could be significant, or you could also be 49. These cards are not numbered, just these. That's why I was not acknowledging any numbers, just zodiacs, okay? Okay, what is one more for the... What's another chakra card for the other set? One more, please. I just seen 12, 12. Oh, too many. These cards are big, but I got this. 12, 23 on the timer. Y'all could be in the right alignment for whatever it is y'all doing, so keep doing it. Keep that energy clear. Stay focused. Dreams, like that card said about the dreams. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Your dreams are trying to tell you something about a person or a certain situation or that you need that you need to leave somebody in the past or let somebody go. So you can be dreaming about a lot of things and trying to figure out why you're having all these dreams or why is this person coming out that way in the dream, okay? So yeah, that's for the dreams. And then what's this? See, perspective, truth, knowledge, clarity. Yeah, be real. This goes back to divine conscience, okay? You have your third eye open as well. You see the truth, the knowledge. You want to see the clarity in things. You want to be real and see things for what it is, okay? You could be 37 or 37 can be significant and 39. And number 17, the 17th could be significant. I just seen 13, 13 on the timer. Free will, courage, willpower, change. Yep. That's why it says self-regulation. Because you have the free willpower. You change the situation. You change your ways. You don't want to be like that. You have choices out here as well. Not just in love, but like this is in career and finances, stability, long-term commitment and relationships and friendships as well. People that really want to partner with you. Okay, so one card, we're going to pull one card for um, the daily affirmations for each, for each one. Yeah, you have, you have a lot of faith too, and you could be 48. Or 48 can be significant. Confirmation. So we're going to pull a couple of Africa. Mm, they already fall. Excuse me. They already fallen. Okay, we're going to do this. Yeah, 14, 12 on the timer. A couple affirmation cards for the collective. One for each deck, please. Just one. Just one, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Okay, so today I am in charge. Yep choices free will courage that's for the deck number one i told you you're doing your thing out here today i am in control of how i feel nobody can make me feel any other way than happy see how excited you are how happy you are with that self-regulation nobody can take you out your element 1444 you you know who you are and you're perfectly in alignment with like your choices and decisions no one can alter what you think or how you feel 1455 on the timer 
we're seeing the perspective and truth of clarity clarify this yeah today you're being happy today happiness and love will fill my heart and soul all day you're seeing things for what it is you're being real you lightened up on the situation okay you're getting you're better you're getting better you're getting better at what you're doing so all three of these readings look really good just pay attention to what spirit is trying to tell you around the 10 10 portal one more for the last thank you oh it fell bullseye <laughs> okay today i am receptive today you're very receptive today you will let go of the past you will live in the present you are very much in the present moment you could be having dreams like i said god is trying to show you things and i am looking forward to do my right in my future 1542 on the timer okay so we're also going to pull a couple of the moon mantra i just got these cards yesterday they're super cute they open like this they're gold and they have a little stand that goes with it but we're not going to use the stand we're just going to go ahead and pull a couple and see what they you know what they want you to know as far as um each deck i'll show you guys a little thing that it comes with oh this is really cute it's like a crescent moon it's so pretty okay 1608 so it's good to keep yourself like with some crystals and, you know, keep yourself with like a crystal necklace, a cross, an evil eye necklace. Keep something like that. Keep some plants around you. Keep some incense around you. Keep a lot of protection around you. Love, food, money. Ooh. Yeah, keep a lot of things like that around you at this time. So you're always feeling healthy and happy, okay? Around the 10, 10 portal. What is one message for my collective? One for the first set. 1636 on the timer. Thank you. So right now, remember how she's holding on to the moon? How she's in contact with the moon, the moon mastery. You, the moon is on your side. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you're working on. With the money and the choice that you made, okay. It says, I am worthy and very much the best in life and loving. Allow myself to accept what comes my way. You see how she got her hand up? And she's accepting. You're accepting whatever comes your way. That's your choice to accept your money. Be happy. Okay? 17, 17 on the timer. And this is helping you with your spiritual wellness as well for the first day. And you're keeping you're keeping that um, accepting responsibility. See how it says accept what's coming. And she's accepting responsibility at this time. Period. You're standing on business. You're making healthy choices and wise, worthy choices. Okay. For the next one, please. For my Aquarius, Le for my Aries, Leo, Sag, or my uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The first one, um, this one is probably more like Capricorn. This would be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, and then this one, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, yeah, because we got Pisces. Okay, we got it together. We got all the zodiacs out here, except for uh, Libra. No, we do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Leo, Aries, Sag. We just don't have. Um, we have Pisces, but oh, I just said that Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm tripping. I'm trying to think. Eighteen twenty three. I was going to tell y'all something. Hold on. I'm trying to think. Okay, so eighteen thirty two on the timer. But y'all are in the right alignment, and you guys are doing wonderful. Okay, I need one more. Actually, I need two more, but I need one for this day. Oh, sorry, Spirit. I spoke too soon. See, when I speak, they be like, let's go, you know? Oh, see, they ready. <laughs> Somebody finna take off. Things are spilling. You could be a little nervous. You could be a little nervous, but you okay. You got this. Okay. One card. These cards are big. Okay. Okay. Maybe they don't want y'all to know. Maybe whatever you're working on is a secret. 1902. <laughs> Tan Tan Portal for the second for the second reading, please. Oh, thank you. I have to say, please. I am strong. Yeah, personal truth, clarity, knowledge. You are a very strong person. Okay. You need to lighten up their Leo, Aries, Sag, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. I trust my inner wisdom to guide you. Yeah. You're trusting them to guide you. That's what the little pictures look like. Everything's black and white. No gray areas. Super cute. You're connected. Okay. Looking good. 1942. <laughs> Okay, what's one more for the dreams? Oh. Period. You are protected. So whatever dreams that somebody could be trying to send you, you're protected from whatever they're trying to do. 
Yeah, my future ideal projection is what evasion now. Yeah, my future is an ideal projection of what I envision now. I'm sorry. There we go. Get it together. 2002, period. Confirmation. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the high vibration cards. It's 2009 on the timer. We're going to pull these because I want to use all the ones I want to use for like the portal. I was going to pull the soul's truth, but I feel like the moon cards told enough plus the question. So I feel like that's enough right there, right there, you know, 2022 on the timer. I cannot get these cards open. That's why I like taking all my cards out the box, like before I start the reading, because shit like this will happen where the box gets stuck. You don't want to rip it and break it open because it's so pretty, but it's like, damn, get it together, get it together. Get it together, box. Get it together. Okay. Now, keep the vibration. I love these cards. They are super. They are super pretty. Okay. One, please. Three. I need three total, but one for each one. 21, 11. They're like, no, we're going to give you two by twos. Okay. Is that all three? Oh, okay. I did say three cards. Okay, period. Spirit, no. Spirit be talking. Okay, so you see things from a higher perspective. That's what I was saying. Yep. Yeah. Your your test. I mean, your faith is being tested. Yep. Yeah. Messages and signs and symbols are guiding you. So you're seeing things from a higher perspective. Your divine conscience is definitely tapped in with the perspective card. Okay. You are safe. See how I said protected on the other deck and you are safe at the same time. Okay. You have nothing to worry about. Whatever dreams or nightmares somebody trying to sing you. Okay. But I feel like it's the most high trying to tell you something. I clear my energy field. Yep. Yeah, you cleared out your energy field. That's why you're in this energy of like your self-worth. You made choices. You keep the energy clear. That's just who you are. You focus on your money. You're doing some type of law of attraction right now. You're accepting all the responsibilities that the divine and most high are giving to you. You're taking on to that. You're ready to become that leader. Yeah, relationships are assignments. So, yeah, you have to break up with somebody and walk away. You felt like it was a chore. You felt like it was homework. You felt like you had to keep doing too much or something like that to keep this person happy. Feeling fear for feeling fear is a call for love. Love is an assignment. So, you, when you feel scared, you might feel like you need to be in a relationship. You feel, you feel kind of clingy, 23, 23. But at the same time, spirit is telling you, wait for the right person. Don't be in a rush. Don't just get attached to everybody you see. Yeah, it's okay to feel what you feel when you need to feel what you feel. Yeah, it's okay to feel what you feel and need what you need, period. Uh -huh. 2252. Yeah, you call back your power. You need to, okay? With this 1010 portal, keep your energy clear. Yeah. It's okay to speak your mind and it's also okay to say no. 2304. <laughs> yeah, come home to your body. Feed your temple, nourish, you know, healthy stuff. 2312. The world is blessed to have you, okay? Just know that you are a blessing. I'm just, you know, shuffling a little bit. I love these cards. Abundance is a state of mind. What I tell you about that abundance card? Who is this? That's on this money journey, period. You got this money journey, okay? You made a choice to level up. Abundance is a mindset, not a matter. It's mind over matter, okay? I love this 10 10 portal energy. It's great. It's looking real good for everybody. I feel like everybody's energy is just real clear. Maybe y'all all call back y'all energy like. <laughs> Maybe everybody took a spiritual bath last night or something. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, you trust in your gifts. Okay, you trusting in the gifts that God gave you. And where there is a will, there is a way. Okay, 24 on a timer. You know there is a way for you to have what you need. Let your inner fire um, warm you, not burn you. Don't get burned by your own actions. Don't get burned by your own demons. Keep them at bay. Keep them under control at all times. Yep, go ahead and pour yourself a cup of ambition because you are worthy. Okay, collective? I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.